Hello everyone and welcome to the Boogeyman. This is the third game in the Strange Man series, and I really enjoyed the previous two games, so I'm hoping that this one this one will be fun as well. So let's just get started. I actually did try out the voice acting uh like two minutes ago when I started recording, but uh the voice acting isn't great, I'm sorry to say, so I think we'll go with partial voice acting. It's a horror game with scares and grotesque content. There's also elements of parody. And I will not cut out the end credits because I don't do that. Uh, your phone. Your phone's ringing. Are you asleep? No, no. I was just thinking. About what, sir? How's the suspect doing? Still not out let yet. It's been three hours, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. But man... Really not gonna answer? I'll call back later. Man, Keith, do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was groaning about it, you know. Wondered what's even the point in calling you. Ah, uh, sir, he's coming out. Uh-oh. What? He's got a woman behind him. I think she came in after. You think she's with him? This isn't good. Won't be able to arrest the guy like this. Let's go. Tell squad B and C. We'll get him in that alley up ahead. Uh, hold on a second, sir. She might be a civilian. We should really wait until he's alone. And are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. So are we like a... a police officer? Police tyranny strikes again. The cold, ruthless detective shoots down yet another criminal. Civilian woman forever traumatized. We tried to ask Keith Baring, the detective responsible to shed us some more light. But he stood at the station entrance smoking a cigarette and told us this. The visitor's entrance is that way. Seems like he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. Well, what do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal. Nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. Reporters, am I right? I can read gossip myself. I don't need you reading it out loud. Keith, you're a real hit with these guys. This is the fourth article by my count. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me in for. I've got good news. I'm giving you a vacation. A month, in fact. Not a chance. This is no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him and stretch your wings a bit. Dick, I'm telling you, there's no way. I'm ordering you as your superior. If you don't want travel, consider it house arrest instead. You aren't fit to bear the brunt of the media. I can handle the rest real well. So, go on. Take a break from the crime scene. Hey, but I didn't say you'd have to twiddle your thumbs up at home for a month, right? Here's a little present. There's this old castle they're promoting as a tourist spot. There's a sort of test run tour two weeks from now. Truth is, me and the wife were gonna go, but I say you do it. How many years has it been for you two? Helena will be ecstatic. Now put down the gun in the notebook. We'll need them on vacation, right? I get the feeling we're gonna wish we had the gun with us. Go home for today. You can hand over your work tomorrow. Just one thing. Enough of the blaring music, you can hear it in the hallway. Aw. <laughs> Don't turn off the background music, is this Helena? 
Welcome home. How was work? Same as usual. You look tired. Are you all right? I'm fine. Oh, yes, I got a fantastic present from Mr. Anderson's wife. Look at these, honey. Tour invitations. A three-day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Dick already told me. Gave me some time off for it, too. Well, if you aren't too tired, I'd like to go myself. What do you think? If you're going, then I'm going. I'll tell our travel agent. Thanks, honey. I can't wait. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Night. Good night. It sounds like something's on the stove, though. You're not gonna have dinner first? Okay, there's the controls. I was trying to use uh, the Wasid keys, but uh, it's arrow keys, right. RPG Maker controls, I forgot. Ah, uh, the bearings? I've been waiting for you. I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. I'll be your guide for this tour. Thanks. Now that you two are here, all the attendees are present. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. Wow, what a ship! The five-hour trip to the island should go by in no time. I'm going to go introduce myself to the others. What about you? I'll head out later. You go on ahead. All right. A refrigerator. There are drinks and ice inside. Balls of brandy. Outside, the sea stretches out to the horizon. A life preserver hangs on the wall. Let's go to sleep. A double bed. Shelves. Seems you can put luggage on them. A traveling bag. A bathroom. Yeah. Hello? Hello, redhead. D don't just swing the door open like that. Be more careful. Try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young lady. Maybe you should look where you're going yourself, old man. Nasty tongue on you, huh? You bet. I was born with it. Okay, I was wondering if that was Sophie. Okay, so... They're doing this again, where a character from the previous game shows up in the current one. Hey now, Sophie, what are you doing? This guy almost swung the door right to my face, Papa. You said something rude to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. But Papa... Sophie? I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Old man. Come on, Papa. Let's get some ice cream at the lounge. My apologies for that. Is she your daughter? Yes, yeah, she's my one and only precious. Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh yeah, she's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. Excitement is one thing, but you should try to get her to stop yelling at people over a little near collision. If she's talking to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. <laughs> You're very right, but I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. I'm Richard Grundler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. Keith Baring. Did you come alone? No, with my wife. Oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. Well, excuse me. So I'm wondering if David will be in this game as well. Guest room. Guest room. Guest room. Guest room. Snacks and drinks for sale. A small counter, there's beer setting on it. Hello. Mmm, ice cream. Papa, let me have a bite. Here you are. 
<laughs> but don't put on too many pounds, all right? I, I can exercise it off. I'm fine. The Grundlers are enjoying some ice cream. Well, good for them. Oh, there's a... I always forget her name. David's girlfriend. So I'm going to assume David is in this game. A games table. Flowers. Bar counter. Keith, this is Shirley. Keith, nice to meet you. I'm Shirley Weber. Same. She came here with her husband. Oh, yes, where is he now? He told me he went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. Hey, what's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Oh, let me guess. You were the men in black? Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses or a neuralizer. <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? The tea here is delicious. You like tea? Absolutely. What about you? Sorry, I can't stand the stuff. Helena and Shirley are drinking tea. I'm, I'm not much of a tea fan, personally. Maybe I just haven't tried the right tea yet, but at the moment I would not say I'd, I, drink, I drink tea. Flowers, a piano. I don't drink coffee either. Hi, David. Need a light? Thanks. Nice weather today, don't you agree? Sure is. To tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship and it's really exciting for me. I'm just glad it's so nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking on the deck here if it were raining. Keith Baring, Detective. David Hoover. Detective, huh? Very cool. I always like to watch those police dramas. But why the suit? Old habits. Never been on a ship except for the job. Did you come alone? Oh, sorry, that was Keith talking. <laughs> no, I came with my wife. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. Came down with something. He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. Oh yeah, David's friends. Um, I forget their names too. Paul and something, someone, I think? So I invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation m often. The Grundlers. Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. Enjoy yourself in their place, then. <laughs> yep. That's the plan. Uh, I'm still wondering about the, uh... The continuity between these games. Like, are these the David, the versions of David and Sophie that went through the events of the Crooked Man and the, the Sandman? Or is this like an alternate universe thing? I still don't know. An ashtray. Oh, another smoke? Want my lighter? No, I'm fine. Oh, you're new. Keith Baring. Who could have guessed I'd be graced by the presence of the tabloid star? I'm Lance Canal. So what brings you here? Murder on the ship? Or are you gonna cause one yourself, detective? Must have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. The tabloids who rag on you come from the same publisher I work for, that's all. That's all it is. I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for pub publicity. Photographer? Don't you worry, I don't take pictures for any of those sleazy magazines. I'm just a photographer for a humble travel magazine. Not like I'm one of those paparazzi guys. Still, don't have to take pictures to get material. I can make some good money passing things on to my gossip writing colleagues. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be watching, Detective. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that! It's fantastic! 
It really is. I can't wait to take a look inside. Man, it's like the kind of place there'd be a murder case on old cop show. David, stop tempting fate. Oh, stop being such an oddball. Oh, it seems like most of our cast is recurring characters this time. Interesting. Oh ho, I get it. You're telling us we have to camp out for this in front for this tour? That's odd. I'm sure I told him when we'd arrive. Hold on a moment. Hello? It's Stevie from NA Travel. Hello? Brendan, are you there? Okay, they're here. Is everybody ready? Nigel, your tie's crooked. Fix it. Mitch, your hair's a mess. Matt, your glasses... well, they're still lame. Right, time to greet the guests. Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. Stevie, I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leading them here. And thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce the... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. Mr. Lance, the Grundlers, Mr. David and Mrs. Shirley. And last but not least, the Bearings. So you came in instead of the Andersons. Oh, what a delight. Young guy, you take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long boat ride. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. It'll be a while until dinner, so make yourself at home. Keith, look! The view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. You remember? When we went to France, and you... Shouldn't you answer that? It's Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. I wonder what the others are up to. I'll go take a look. Are you coming, honey? Not right now. Later. Fireplace. Whiskey. Well, let's go the other way. Oh, bedroom. Closet. I guess that's a window. Bathroom. Sink. Toilet. Small shelves with nothing inside. A bathtub with no water. Okay, I guess we are leaving then. Got some nice jazzy piano music going on. David Hoover and Shirley Weber. The Bearings. The Grundlers. I guess this is Lance over here. Yep. And I cannot go in any of their rooms. That's fair. Oh, big dining room. I like how the chandeliers are swaying a little bit. That's a nice touch. Oh, I'm gonna get so lost. Storeroom. Kitchen. Wine cellar. A landscape painting. Oh, hello. Nice library. Bookshelves loaded with books. Books are piled on the table. A few books are stacked up. They seem to be about the history of the area. There's a thick, old-looking book. Can I read it? The History of Castle Livingstone. Um, can I get that written in text? Because this is pretty blurry. A tyrant. Okay. They really want me to focus on that tyrant. The natives held in here were forbidden to from... Oh, torture them, kill them... So this dude was a total dick to the native people, which is unfortunately rather common. 
Oh, what a surprise. So this is where you were. Sorry for wandering in here. Oh, no, no, I don't mind. Such a large study, isn't it? I used to play hide-and-seek in here as a kid, and my dad always told me off. So many piles of old precious books, too. Unfortunately, I don't really know how much they're worth. Is that book about the history of the castle? Ah, oh, you've been doing some reading. A very disturbing history, isn't it? The former lord of the castle was quite the tyrant. He severely taxed the islanders and persecuted anyone who rebelled. There are many odd rooms in the ca this castle, actually. I'm sure they were used for punishment. Ah, but you'll be toured through them tomorrow, so... You, say, you said you managed this place yourself? Must be hard. Well, only as of late. I went to film school, actually, and did some work in Hollywood. It wasn't too long ago that I returned here, after my parents' death. I inherited the property, you see. Yes, it's a hard job to do alone, especially with all those strange rooms. So, I thought I'd promote this place as a tourist destination. I'm not too interested in the castle myself. I hate to live out the rest of my days in a, in a, in a, in a deserted place like this. This tour is kind of a test drive, you might say, and Stevie has been a great help with everything. No need to worry. I'm sure it'll be a hit soon. Oh, I do hope you're right. Say, Mr. Baring, you're a detective, right? That's so neat. I love police dramas, and I watch Law and Order all the time. Sorry, but it's not a pretty job. Well, in the eyes of an ordinary citizen who blends into the crowd, I think it's swell. I'm jealous. Hell, I'm jealous that you own a castle. Must attract a lot of girls. <laughs> I wish it would. I'd love to meet a wonderful woman like you have. Well, if you'll excuse me. Hey, David, you going to eat your... I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't want to try. <laughs> oh, uh... Yeah, maybe you can have it. Why don't you want it? It's delicious. He won't eat it because he hates anchovies. Really? That's why? That's so cute. I I mean, it smells so raw. And hey, don't call me cute, okay? Cool would be fine. <laughs> Jeez, Helena's laughing too? Because it's cute, right, Shirley? If we're talking cute, I think that would be you, Missy. Dude, can you just put your cell phone on silent? If you're not going to answer it. Pardon me. You can have the rest of it. You won't be having any more? No. Gosh, Mr. Mr. Keith never smiles. What's got him in a tizzy? He's always that way. Hmm. What is he, a robot? <laughs> a robot detective? So he's Robocop. Don't be rude. Aw, oh, Robocop. I remember going to see that with my wife back in college. He may be that way now, but he used to be so he used to be very funny, you know. He was always making me laugh. I told him he should consider being a comedian. Really? I don't believe it. Eh, comedian or not, he's still the laughing stock of some magazines. You know about that, don't you, miss? That's rude. I don't like Lance very much so far. Keith, jeez, man, why don't you answer your calls? I've been trying all day. What do you need? What'd you do with the profiling info for the investigation? It's on your desk. What? It's not there. It's not. It's nowhere. It's completely and totally... Oh, there it is. Is that why you called 20 times over? I called because you went on vacation without saying a word to me. Tell me before you hand this stuff over. I mean, why in the world would you take a vacation at a hellish time like this? And please answer your calls. How many times do I have to tell you? Frankly, you should just clean up your desk. Hell, mine too. The papers are starting to topple over. They'll start attracting flies. Man, I don't wanna. You do it, Keith. If you don't have it cleaned up once I'm back, I'll burn it all. Oh, there he goes again. Quick to threaten, aren't we, Keithy? 
sorry I'll clean up. You better. So, what's the situation over there? Uh, well, you see... Oh, hey! Hey, how's it going? Having a good trip? Hand it back to Eric. I don't need you right now. Harsh, harsh. You don't need Eric neither. Alright, now just hang up and enjoy your trip. At least tell me the situation over there. Situation, eh? Got no obligation to tell anyone who's not on the crime scene. Come on, Dick. You gonna ignore your honey again? What, you wanna try and investigate this over the phone? Boy, what's the point of giving you a vacation anyway? I can sleep when I'm dead. I'm just saying, don't stick your neck into this. Plus, Eric's always relied on you too much. Now's the time to whip him into shape. Now don't call again, got it? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Oh, go to hell. Same to you. So long. Alrighty, so... Oh yeah, I want to look at our... We got a pack of cigarettes, we got a lighter that's unusable, and we have a cell phone. We have a hundred health. Can we leave? No. No, we can't leave. Okay, this is where that is. Got it. Well, what's over here? We're gonna explore everywhere. Oh, we already came from here. Let's go upstairs, then. The way to the east hallway is locked. Ooh, this room's not locked. A clock. Books are piled on the table. A fireplace. Oh, I didn't expect that to actually open. Well, I'm not ready to go that way yet. We have to check this door. Never mind. West hallway is also locked. Is this the piano that was playing earlier? It's locked. That's a very... This is going to be an important door, I'm pretty sure. I mean, look at these curtains. I guess we go back to the dining room, then. So I said I wanted to see Robocop, but my wife said she wanted to see Platoon, and we fought and fought. In the end, we're Robocop won, but things were a bit stormy after that. I know how that goes. Shirley and I never want to see the same movies. A lot of the time, we come to the theater together, but then go our separate ways. David and Richard are talking. That one piece looks really good on you. I'm glad I bought it for you. <laughs> this one's my favorite, since you picked it out, of course. Shirley and Sophie are chatting. Well, did you take some good pictures? Eh, they're decent. They'll show us more tomorrow, yeah? Is there anywhere that's off limits? I haven't really asked Brendan about that. I'll check with him tomorrow. Lance and Stevie are talking about tomorrow. Oh, thanks for the achievement. So I guess I should go back to... Back to our room. Now oh, is she crying? K Keith! You took your call? Yeah. S -s Sorry for going back without you. I want to take a sh shower. Oh, uh, I'm going to bed now. Good night! Why were you crying? Sit down. I want to talk for a bit. I want to tell you this once we got back from this trip, but... But it's... It's too hard for me. 
We're at a very important crossroads. A kind of D-Day. D-Day? Does the D stand for divorce by any chance? For decision, I guess. Or divorce. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I couldn't say it. You want a divorce? Do you hate me? No, that's not it. No, I couldn't hate you. It's not that. It's not you. It's a problem with me. With you? I'm going to bed. We'll finish this conversation when we get home. Good night. I love you. I told you, if I can just get some juicy tidbits, sales will shoot up for you, my man. Sheesh, didn't I tell you? I can't take photos of people. You can keep your money if you want pics of that rude-ass detective. Yeah, his girl's alright. Oh yeah, she's a good one. Gotta wonder why she's with a snooze fest like him. Heh, <laughs> not a bad idea. Would love to see him keep his cool even when his girl's taken. Yeah, Lance is a dick. I hope he dies first. We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's right. But you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? What are you saying, Papa? You've got to enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk lots. Why, we already spoke with the others plenty today. And I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Hmm. I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> that's my selfish little girl. Hey, Papa. Was Mama a good person? Did you and Mama get along like David and Shirley? Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself. Though you need to get a bit more mature. So I can't be childish, huh? Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. No matter what, you're precious family to me. A true treasure. And your mother as well, of course. <laughs> I got a text from Paul. Bring, bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't Helena remind you of your mother? Maybe so. There's kind of that air about her, and now that you mention it. But what's this all of a sudden? Never mind. I just had a thought. You don't look so good. Did something happen? Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories with me? We could always use more. I wonder how many more we need. Why don't we start now? Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> <laughs> hey, David, stop it. I'm ticklish. Give me a break. Like, that's going to be a fond memory. Good night. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Night. Somebody put a stop to that asshole's calls.
Where's my phone? Okay, I, get, I think we're getting to the scary part now. Oh, Helena's not here. Helena? Is she in the closet? Apparently not. In the bathroom. Oh, a letter. There's a piece of paper slipped under the door. Attention, a wonderful show is about to begin. Please come to the reception hall. Well, to the reception hall we go. Is this the reception hall? Where's the reception hall? Oh, is it the, the fancy room at the very top? Still learning the layout. The boogie was here. So sorry to disturb your slumber, detective. But you know, it'd be a waste of sleep on such a wondrous night. Ah, uh, it really is a great set, don't you agree? All it needs is me standing on stage, and then perfection. Well, get up there then. How do you do, detective? I am... <coughs> Excuse me. How do you do, detective? I am the boogeyman, the organizer of this marvelous game soon to begin. Game? Yes, a very special game, for the night of a very joyous trip. Oh, pardon me. Um, let me consult my cheat sheet. Now let's see here. You're the player and must chase the boogeyman. If you catch him, you win, and that's the happy ending. If you don't catch him, you lose, and what awful bad ending may await you then? So, what do you think of that? You look pretty fast, Mr. Detective, so you might catch me real quick. That'd be pretty boring now, wouldn't it? Ooh, I know. How's this for an idea? How about I kill everyone but you, and you have to stop me? Is this a stupid prank part of the tour? Halloween's not in a while, you know. Stupid? How dare! You'll see. Oh, you'll see. It'll be the best game you ever did see. Let me guess. Are you nervous? Worry not, I have prepared a tutorial for you. And now we're about to have the opening cutscene. Tell me, detective. Are you familiar with the boogeyman? All the evil and sadness in this world can be blamed on the boogie. He's always watching from inside your closet. The boogeyman is the king of evil and terror. Meanwhile, you're a detective, ally to the weak citizens. Uh, and because it's you versus me, a simple game this may be, but it's also a game of good and evil. Is Helena already dead? <laughs> Such a holy battle needs a spectacular opening, yes? Indeed, sacrificial blood must spill. Brendan! Let him down. This joke is going too far. Joke? What a laugh. I'm always deadly serious. Shouldn't you know from experience? People who do things to make you think the words they've got to be joking are usually very serious. And they're just messed up in here. Right then, detective. The blood of this homely boy should add some nice color to our game. Oh yes, this will be quite a night. Oh, crap! Okay. Yeehaw! Now the game begins, detective. Catch me if you can for more of that lovely blood stains the castle floors. Okay, um, the hole seems deep. You can't see a thing. Well, let's, let's go get him then. It's locked. Let's find a key. There's red graffiti on the wall. The boogie was here. Or, you know, we could, we could all leave. 
That's an option. As far as I know, there's nothing stopping us from leaving yet. There probably will be soon, though. Ooh, we can- Oh, a dead servant. There's a corkscrew stuck in his head. That's pleasant. Can we take the corkscrew? We might need it. Wooden boxes. Let's check the kitchen. Are all the chefs dead? Hurry up, detective. I'm trying, dude. A dead cook there. Bruises on the back of his head. Meat tenderizer. It's covered in blood. A dead cook. The ch kitchen knife is stuck deep in his head. The keyhole is clotted with something and the door won't open. There's a note on the door. Did you already open that red wine I prepared? The pantry's light switch. I would like to open some red wine. Where is it? Pile of boxes, who knows what's inside them. A toolbox. Anything useful? Wrench hammer. What is a wrench hammer? A wrench hammer, okay. Is it is it a wrench crossed with a hammer? Shelves with miscellaneous items. There seems to be a breaker up on the wall. That's good to know. Let's uh let's check on everybody, see if they're all alive. Painting. Oh, this door's open. That's not good. This is Sophie and her dad's room, right? Sink. Small shelves. I feel like that's a weird place to put the toilet. Classes. Helena's probably not here. Okay, let's check on it. Oh, this one's open too. Okay, everybody's gone. That's about what I expected. Well, let's try and leave, see what happens. It's locked, of course. Can we get through these doors now? No. Ooh, am I already stuck? I use the wrench hammer to get the corkscrew out of the dead guy's head. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the uh, the library, right? Oh, take the corkscrew. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks. Where's the wine, though? I don't remember seeing any wine anywhere. Uh, 
Uh, maybe it's... Oh yeah, this is back in, uh, Lance's room, right? It's not in our room, is it? Whiskey. I'm just gonna try using the corkscrew on every bottle. You never know. Maybe it was back in the, uh, the hall up here. Piano. Guess not. Oh, use the corkscrew on the door. Okay. Sure, I guess. Broke open the lock with the corkscrew. Lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Stevie, are you there? You can hear Stevie saying turn on the lights, but can't see anything. It'd be dangerous to go in blind. The pantry's light switch. Flip it on. Lights. Turn on the lights. Okay, I guess we need to do something with the breaker then. Huh. Is it just that I can't reach the breaker? Can I- Oh, okay. Ooh, it's one of these puzzles. Hold on. I messed up. Flip the breaker up. Now we should be able to get in there. I feel like we aren't going to like what we see, though. Turn on the lights. I told you to hurry. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. His legs and arms are bound to the chair. There's a large gash on his back. Turn on the lights. Repeat. Turn, Turn on the lights. On the lights. That's the way, Stevie. Turn You're a real great tour guide. Now keep repeating. You have to finish your job if you want to go back to your wife in Connecticut. Turn on Oops, lights. someone's eavesdropping on our conversation. Turn on the Detective, lights. you took your time, didn't you? You did this? Thought I told you I prepared a tutorial. Turn now you should have a real good grasp of the way this game goes. In short... You go too slow and the others end up like this, too. Stevie did such a good job. Showed you just what you needed to do. Did you kill those servants, too? Oh, they're just for show. Making it look good helps spice the game up. I'll let you off the hook there, since they kicked it while you were still snoozing away. So, what do you think? Gotten you a little more motivated, detective? Or maybe I'm making you quiver in your boots. Where'd you take the others? It'd be no fun in games if I told you that. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot to get done. Good luck, detective. Because for you, nothing could be a better, bigger disgrace than failing to save someone you could have, right?
Stevie, stop. That's enough. It's cold. It's all right. It'll get better soon. He's not breathing anymore. There's a large gash on his back and traces of something injected into his arm. A blood-stained broom. Seems it was used to write the words on the floor. A pile of jute bags. Who knows what's inside them? One of the drawers is slightly ajar. Something's inside it. Got a key to a 2F passage. Cool. Well, I think I'm going to stop here then. So I wonder if this game is actually timed, or if it's just like a purely a story thing. But I'm sure there are multiple endings, so maybe it is timed, and if I complete things faster, then people don't die. I, I do plan on getting all the endings, so we'll find out eventually. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like we've, we've been challenged to a game by the Boogeyman to try and catch him before he kills everyone. Sounds pretty fun. I mean, fun for me, not so much for the characters. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Going back to the spooky stuff after the Sandman, which is more of a fairy tale. But this looks promising. So, thanks for watching, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!